Welcome back guys, it is Aprilia here and today we're going to be looking into another multi-AI platform. This one is called Design and it has a multitude of different tools available including from image generation to image editing, consistent characters, face swaps and also on top of this they do also support video generation on this platform and some forms of post editing on those videos as well. So they have multitude of different tools available at their roster. I mean, the total number here is 24, which is pretty crazy in my opinion. So if you're looking for a platform that can do a lot of things at once, well, this might be the thing for you. And also, if you're going to be signing up, there's going to be some sign-up bonuses. So you're going to be getting some free credits on your first try. And there's also, obviously, a paid versions available, which we are going to be touching on a bit later in this video. And they also have posted a lot of tutorials on here. So in case you're very new to AI editing and prompting, well, um, the, the website actually got you covered. So let's actually look into some of the things that I was able to do. So one of the things we have here is like a chat editor where we are able to take out a certain image and you know for here I generated do it have earrings and now I'm gonna say like turn the background to red make the boy Asian and you can do flux context here which we have covered on the channel before also there's jet TPT so Sora is basically also available on this website and it is pretty impressive. Um, not all of the tools here are super fast. So when we talk about generation in general on this website, uh, there's a bit of a waiting time as they are using a lot of the things under the hood. They do have... Um, okay, so here we go. The background actually went to red and he does look a bit more Asian, but maybe he doesn't have the slanted eyes. Um, but I still... Okay, it's not too bad. I think there's a still a big difference between the... The hair is also a bit different, I guess. But I guess, yes, he looks a bit more Asian. So that's one of the features that is available here. And that all is working through Flux and ChatGPT. Um, then we have standard image generation. So let's go through in the very uh, beginning over here. I'm going to look into if we can actually view, view the um, source image that I was able to post. Well, um, basically, I was trying to do like restyling of those images. And it has a multitude of different styles available here. So we can paste in any type of image. And it basically can change a lot of those things over. And this is variations of those same images. And here's, a, here's another one. So it can do comic book style. Um, so there's like a, the DZ in general. So let's see, go all the styles. We have 3D renders, realistic, realistic version 2. We have Google Imaging, Ideogram, JetTPT, Flux 1. Um, manga sketch back to 1950s pleasantly warm and some of the cre creations here are actually from the community this pixel art narrative film there's a lot of different styles over here so if you're looking for very simple easy style change which is not as always so straightforward when it comes to mid journey and jet tpt they don't always understand what you're trying to do so in some cases like doing the whole stylistic change for images i think these types of sites come out uh pretty good so um, I can take out a specific image here, which we maybe we're going to be putting an image. OK, we, we can also do like st straight up images. So we don't have to be um, specifically in, you know, what I'm trying to say is that it's not specifically the same. A refer it doesn't need reference image. So here are a couple of things with the prompt. Uh, yellow female ninja with a text background that says shuriken. And in most of these cases, I actually managed to create the text in the back. And it's, as you can see, it is supporting multitude of different styles. And some of these are pretty good quality. But even if the quality comes out, like, okay, here, the character is very blurry. Like, the eyes are super distorted over here. I don't really know what that is going on. And the, the text is two times here. And here's another one where there's a bit of pixelization on the eyes. It's not the best quality. And actually, the arms are a bit disjointed over here. But then you can do upscaling. And here we have an upscaling of that specific image. And I have to say, like, the face is much more better here. It's, it's so much more higher quality. And here we have, once again, the eyes have been fixed. So the upscaling features are actually pretty decent over here. And let's just do... Um, and you can do variations. You can bring them to the chat editor, which we just looked into. Um, there's AI editor. We can do it to AI video. So we can take it somewhere. There's lip syncing feature, which we're going to be touching upon later. Face swapping. And uh, let's just do um, enhancement. Let's just do like a super en enhanced videos of these. And uh, let's see what we can get. So these are JoJo's Bizarre Adventure style. 
uh, ninjas, and they turn out to be pretty good. You know, once again, these can be... Um, we'll just do light upscales on these two. And let's go come back later. Um, now I want to show you some video stuff. So there's a big collection of different videos. So what we have Kling, we have C Dance, we have Design, which is its own in-house. And this is uncensored, guys. So if you want to do adult stuff and you want to sell it maybe on OF or something like that, well, this is very, very good. And a lot of other things have censorship. So this is actually pretty good. Um, and that also implies the images. And then we have 121, Google View 3, Runway Gen 4, Lumerite 2, 2.2, and other versions of Kling and Hilua. So a lot of different options here. And you can even toggle here uncensored if you want to. So that's pretty cool. So um, here's the reference image. And I just like put out like basking on the sun. And this is pretty good quality over here. It's like, it looks real. It looks very realistic. And it's just like pretty good. And it's kind of looping in a way. Uh, then I uploaded an anime image and I tried to do different um, formats, uh, different video players on this one. I don't know which one is which. So um, I think this one might be VO3 um, or some I think might be Kling.2.1. But this was probably one of the better ones. And then we have the third one. And this actually has audio. And this is actually VO3. It's not too bad, but the problem is that it's changing all the characters' face over here. And it did have a bubble gum, so I can see that it has a bit of a difficulty with it. And obviously, the resolution dimensions are totally off. Then I added out uh, this uh, John Wick image, and I tried to like, hey, fighting with katanas. And this one actually has pretty good motion, but everything gets really, really blurry, and quality drops out really, really fast. They start to look like uh, more like people than uh, paper things. And here's another one, which has a very, very good motion, but it's not very as action-y and as good. And then there's a third one, which is just like, it's just panning the camera. I don't know what really is going on here, but um, that's that's pretty good. So the video stuff, pretty impressive as well. And as I said, um, you, you can do multiple different things. And the, probably the cheapest one that you can use is actually the in-house thing. But let's move on to some other things. Uh, here's another one where um, you can do a face swaps on this platform. So this is the original image. And here is the uh, Asian face that I was bringing it over. Most of these look pretty realistic. Obviously, it's looking a bit uncanny because we already have the reference image over here. Um, we can obviously upscale these as well. So there's that feature as well. Um, there's also voice acting. So or dubbing actually. So in case you have an image that you've created here or you have video and you just need like need voice acting here for a video, which a lot of things need right now because so many of these video platforms do not have dubbing. Hey, hey, I'm just here chilling and testing out Zine AI and its voice recording capabilities with different tones. Make sure to subscribe to Oprilia AI while you add it for more goodies. Okay, that was not too bad. Um, the, the teeth are kind of, kind of creepy. And here, we don't really have a lot of, like, there's only one option for one model. I don't know what they're using underneath for voice dubbing. It might be their in-house thing. But it's, it's not too bad. I think the lip moment hey, here hey, is pretty good. I'm just here chilling and testing out Zine AI. Actually, really good. It's just that the teeth are kind of weird. And maybe you want to, in general, if you're going to be doing a reference image, try to have somebody where that mouth is actually open. So that's going to be giving you a better results, I guess. Um, coming back, we got that coming out here. And here are some of the upscales that we did. Okay, this turned out to be pretty horrible because it's fi fixing the mask in a way <laughs> it shouldn't. Here's another one. Um, then the same image is over here. These are a bit more harder to upscale because of the way of the style and everything is like manga. But um, overall, there are a lot of different features available here, image to image. Uh, by the way, this was the original image that we were using uh, to create some of, some of these things that I showed you earlier. It's not too close. You can use the style insanity. Yeah, intensity, sorry, to basically adjust like how much is going to be following your prompt. And then there's going to be a uh, structure match, which will adjust the generated image in composite terms. And uh, then there's color matching, face matching in advanced. You can add negative prompts and even seed numbers. There is also a storyboard feature, which is like allowing you to add multitude of different images over here. Can we actually zoom these out? No, we can't. Uh, there's consistent characters that you can do, lip syncing we already went through, multiple AI videos, uh, AI editors which allow you to do local edits on the images. As more people are less, the generative expand, I love this one. It's like when I find an AI image that's not right on my portions 
and then hand repair well, I haven't seen that one so okay let me let me actually put this area here like less so so there those hands look really really bad so let's let's try this one for example and while that is doing let's go back into looking at some so just face repair expression edit and face swap so all types of different features here this is pretty nice you might want to post post edit something what you have after you have swapped the face and you can change expression too so if you want to do something else enhancing and then there's also product background so you can this is really good for like doing you know you want to show some some product and you need a thumbnail for it or whatever or you need to animate and you can do like an existing image over here and then just like edit that onwards but that basically um is is a lot of the features we we went through so here's an image editing of the the girl mixed with the dress um, here is the hand repairs and as you can see they look much better than they did earlier it's not it's like very small still but you know i take it i take it it's not too bad and the zoom out thing you know this this can obviously be upscaled further on so that's not too bad and then last let's just look at the video okay it's, it's still not done let me actually refresh share the meanwhile let's just finally look into the pricing so obviously this is not a free service we have the beginner package which is nine dollars per month and obviously we have annual plans which are 20 percent off the 20 percent is very standard in this business like almost everybody side wants to give you annual plans so nine dollars that includes 900 image credits uh, consistent characters pretty much all the features are over here um in the creator plan that is the one that i've been given a trial to that includes basically unlimited regular image credits that's a pretty good one that's a pretty good one i'm not gonna lie um, so basically prompt as much as you want, long as you can wait. I wish more features and more, more websites would actually have this feature. And then we also have, uh, video credits coming in. So the beginner round has no video credits and obviously the video credits again, give you 500 videos. Well, that's a bit misleading obviously because that's with the certain models, obviously the VO3 costs like thousand credits to generate. So that's super expensive to do. So obviously with certain models, yeah, you can do a lot of videos and Obviously, then there's finally the master plan, which is $60. That gives you 9,000 video credits and unlimited fast image credit creation. So many images as much as you want and basically at fastest speed. So because some people want to burn through multiple different things. And you can also top up credits here for both video and all that type of stuff. So if you want the video stuff only, that is also uh, opportunity and in case you're interested in it, I do have my affiliate link down below so please if you're gonna be gonna be buying this service or trying it out please sign under my link and uh, for the further information you can obviously go into the page and see those things yourself I don't think it's too bad in terms of the pricing I think the image generation thing is very uh, very good and here's the last thing we're gonna be looking at okay you see well it's kind of finding as uh, well as hiding his gun <laughs> that's actually a bit neat illusion but yeah that's basically what i think about the de uh, design i think it's one of the better if not like top two places where you can basically do everything under one hood like a lot of the platforms are only specialized in images or video well here you can basically do almost everything that you need to do in terms of post editing dubbing and all that type of stuff so um it comes along with a lot of features basically everything you need is here and i understood that in the future, they are going to be expanding into adding more audio features into their repertoire. So uh, that's something that's probably going to be coming. And they also do have APY plans for those who are interested. But thanks for watching, guys. See you soon on the next video. Cheers.